Good morning, sisters and brothers. I am so proud to be here this year as a brand new California State Senator. Yeah, I think we believe we belong in the Senate, don't you? So, you know, yesterday in my office in the Capitol, Sacramento, my office, we got a call from a fifth grade student from LA Unified named Gwendolyn. She made the call. And she said she was calling to talk to me to ask for support for the teachers. So we thanked her for making the time, taking the time to call. And she said, wait a minute, I have one more thing to say. Please tell the senator that one day I'm going to run for president of the United States. and brothers, that's what today's march is all about. It's about all of us feeling that we can do what we want to do in life and no amount of money, and no racism, no sexism, no nothing is going to get in our way. Nothing. So I'm here to say to Gwendolyn, estamos con los maestros. We stand with the teachers. You are damn right, because teachers are fighting for our public education. <laughs> women teachers, women, our mothers, they're teachers, they're young girls in school, and they're making a sacrifice today for everyone's benefit, every family's benefit. The fight for women's rights is more powerful today because we have built solidarity amongst us. And that solidarity is real power. When we back each other up, we have more power. That's how we took over Congress, sisters and brothers, because we backed each other up. We fight for our children and parents who walked hundreds, if not thousands, of miles to be safe. Are you with me? The refugee parents, women and children, are, we're there with them. And the state legislature is going to provide money to help them resettle in this country. I don't care what Donald Trump has to say. They're our families. And we will never again allow our children, our children, to be caged up or to die in the hands of incarceration. So sisters and brothers, I salute you. Salute my sisters and brothers. Be with you. I'm so proud to be with all my colleagues in the state legislature. Un daño contra uno es un daño contra todos. An injury against one is an injury against all. Un daño contra uno es un daño contra todos. Muchas gracias. Buenos días. Que viva la mujer. My name is Wendy Carrillo and I am proud to represent you in our state assembly representing the great city of Los Angeles right here with my fellow legislators. legislators. Let me tell you the unlikely story of how I got to Sacramento because my story is your story. I'm just a girl from the east side, from Boyle Heights, who dropped out of high school but had a teacher and a principal that cared about me enough to graduate. First in my family to go to college, first generation American, East LA College, Cal State LA and USC for grad school, ran against 11 other men just last year to get elected. And I am proud to be one of the new women in our state assembly, proudly representing what is the women's movement of this moment. So let me just say this, don't wait for anyone to tap you on the shoulder and tell you that it's your turn. Run, organize, raise money, and give everybody hell because we need you to have a seat at the table to make decisions about our bodies, our community, our family, the future of our state and the future of this nation because it doesn't matter where you come from, what you look like, what language you speak, or what your legal status is. 
This country belongs to all of us, not just a few. And we have a right, a right to make sure that the California dream and the American dream is alive and available to all of us. And so for all of us that are here today, let's take this message all the way to DC and let them know that we continue to resist and we will replace Donald Trump in 2020. Because we are here and we aren't going anywhere. And as a formerly undocumented person in this country, let me say my voice is loud and clear, bold and unapologetic. And we are standing up here today wanting a new change in our nation. Thank you for being here, and let's have a great day on this Women's March 2019.